welcome to the Tantrum House Game Show. We're your hosts, I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Jonah Dew. And today we're coming to you from a brand new, undisclosed, top secret location. That's right. I don't know that most people realize that our normal studio is just my living room. Yeah, they probably don't also know that we like work in real life. We do. We work together. And so today we're coming at you from the studio podcasting office at the office. Giving you another episode of the news. <laughs> yeah. So today we'll be taking a look at a couple of hot new games that have just been announced. We'll be talking about a few games hitting store shelves now. And we're going to be talking about the most important Kickstarter of the year. Let's get rolling. We need some dice from that home office. Enola Holmes, Finder of Lost Souls, is an all-against-one cooperative game for two to four players from Gale Force 9. One player will act as the criminal, hatching a sinister plan to abduct their victim, leaving puzzling clues in their wake. The other players work as detectives, trying to solve these puzzles and reveal clues. If they solve enough puzzles, they will deduce the crime and stop the criminal. The combination of clues and the crime will change with each game. The detectives have four turns to gather the clues, make their deductions, and declare the crime. And if they can do so within those four turns, the criminal is caught and the detectives win the game. Nice. Devere Games recently announced Home Sweet Home, or not. It's a cooperative board game for two to five players, where you must collaborate to complete the objectives laid out in one of the five missions that are included in the game. Each mission requires a different layout of the house, which is constructed of different rooms connected by 3D wooden doors. Each player represents a family member who must spend action points to recover objects from the rooms and return them to their correct places according to the mission. The missions have some pretty fun themes like alien visitations, Santa Claus is coming to town, and more. Uh, we recently shared a peek of the game on our most recent episode of the Saturday Morning Board Game Show, so if you want to see what the game looks like on the table, you can check that out. Yeah, and finally, if you haven't heard, Ravensburger has announced an ambitious play, Disney Lorcana, a new TCG trading game that features Disney characters in both original and reimagined art styles set in an all new and all new. Okay, the breadth and scope of which is unprecedented as it will contain more original Disney artwork than any other single product created ever. Crazy. Disney fans will enjoy the beautiful illustrations, the overarching storyline, and playing with their favorite characters in a new and novel way, while veteran TCG players are going to appreciate the thoughtful and unique gameplay mechanics and all the things that Ravensburger is known to be bringing to their games. Yeah. Now, I think in our last episode of the news, we did a little Disney trivia. That's right. You actually did pretty good, if I recall. You got like, I don't know, 9 out of 10 or something? Yeah, it was a lot. You did pretty great. However, I know that you also hate to lose. This is true. It might be time for another game time. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jonah, I pulled a website that pulled 100 people who were asked the question, what's something you hate to lose? Oh, this is like Family Feud. That's correct. I've okay. got the answers up on the board. Let's see how many of the top six responses you can get right in the next 20 seconds. Oh, it's like Fast Money Family Feud. It is. Feud. Let's go. Hate to lose. 100 people hate to lose. Right. Okay, uh, board games, obviously. Uh, car keys. Um, what, what about their wallet? Um, hate to lose. Hate to lose. Um... Uh, their phone. Phone. Um, what about like headphones? Uh, hate to lose. Hate to lose. So not, not a board game, but like just a game. Hate to lose. Um, hate to lose money. Hate to lose. Um, tickets. Hate to lose. Um, Oh, ding. All right. I feel like that's probably been about 20 seconds. We were real okay. scientific there. Uh, we're going to reveal the answers at the end of the episode. So you guys think about which ones he missed and we'll get your comments in the uh, comments at the end of the video. I wasn't ready for fat. I, I see it on the family speed. Is, uh, yeah. yeah if, once you have a whole episode to kind of get in the groove of things, <laughs> then you do fast money. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to be, be ready, ready on to the spot. But it's OK. Here's some of the games that we're excited about that are hitting store shelves right now. Yeah, so coming from Keymaster Games, an expansion to their popular Parks game. It's the new wildlife expansion that features all new artwork from the 59 Parks print series, including the newest National Park edition, New River Gorge. It, it'll feature new gear, it'll provide new sites along the trail, and allow you to experience wild, wildlife in a whole new way. I'm actually really excited about this. For my 30th birthday, years ago, I actually went whitewater <laughs> rafting on okay. the New River Gorge. So Did you really? This would be fantastic. Yeah, oh, I can't wait like to see it. a great time. 
Okay, so there's also a game uh, from Alley Cat Games. It's called Dice Theme Park. In this game, you'll take on the role of an ambitious theme park owner, expanding and improving your park with new rides and attractions. You'll compete to attract the right mix of guests, represented by dice, and keep them attracted and entertained by recruiting staff to dress up as your world-famous mascot, the more you can delight your guests, the more stars you'll earn. Yeah, if you've played Alley Cat Games Dice Hospital... This is one of my top ten favorite games, actually. Really? Dice Hospital? Yeah, okay. really good. That's pretty good. Well, if you've played that game, you'll be familiar with some of the mechanics in this game. In this one, instead of using hospital patients dying when they hit zero and heading to the morgue... It's dramatic. Uh, they'll just leave your park. So <laughs> is, that's equally that's equally dramatic. I right? mean, maybe not. <laughs> equally dramatic is Smirk and Dagger, or Smirk and Laughter. They got both logos on the box. An offshore rig has erupted and is spilling crude oil all over the ocean at an alarming rate. You are acting as a joint task force and you must work together with your team to avert this ecological disaster which threatens to contaminate marine life and devastate the ecosystem. Is that based on a true story uh, game? I don't know. I mean, it's happened before, uh -oh. for sure. Uh, the game will feature a dice tower that spills oil dice into the four quadrants of the game board, constantly creating new threats. Meanwhile, the players must sail the perimeter to contain the spill, remove what oil they can from the water, and save the sea life. It's an exciting reverse tower defense challenge. Ooh. All right, this sounds interesting. Right to the end. A fun new family way game from AEG is hitting shelves now. In a peaceful galaxy where a new technology has been invented, these new wormholes allow ships to warp from one point to another for the purposes of commerce and travel. As the captain of a passenger ship, you'll be newly equipped with this technology, and you can make some serious space bucks by building a robust network of wormholes. I link the furthest reaches of space while delivering passengers to become the most successful captain in the golden age of spacefaring. And finally, in the new game Keepers from Van Ryder Games, each player takes a turn as the curator, choosing one word to describe a card in their hand and announcing it, and then all the other players have to think of what card might align with that, they'll play it from their hand, and then the cards will be shuffled, placed face up so everyone can vote. And the card that does get the most votes will be the Keeper. We played it recently on our house party, and in this game, it's actually really unique because sometimes you might have a card that matches the word that was said, so you can like, oh, I'll play that one down, I'll definitely get some points, I'll, I'll trick them. But at other times, you'll have cards that don't match the word at all, so maybe you'll play one out of kind of matching the word just so you can get the points for being the one least like it. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. One other cool fact is that all of the photos in the game come from Brian Georgiordian's portfolio of over 600,000 wildlife and natural images. So it's got a really cool aesthetic throughout the entire game. Really, really beautiful images. Yeah, they were actually really good photos. And we played that game in our house party earlier this month. You can actually follow one of these links and check it out. Jonah, did you know that Tantrum House is in its eighth season of video production and that we're on Kickstarter right now Raising funds for next season. Yes, yes, I did. I knew. I don't, I don't know if they knew. But I also know that we've got over like 50 promo cards available on our page as rewards for our backers. Along with some really cool t-shirt designs. We've even got some new ones and so much other like great board gamer gear. If you're watching this episode and you appreciate any of the videos that we put together here at Tantrum House. Yeah, whether it's like the news or Kevin's board games launching on Kickstarter, which is currently board games launching on crowdfunding platforms, uh, or our preview videos, or our playthrough videos, or any of the other things that we work so hard to put together. Like our podcast, or our Tantrum Con event. There's so many things that we've been able to put together, and we'd super appreciate your support as we continue to do that. Literally every single individual dollar helps as we try to cover the cost of our equipment, and our hosting fees, and our shipping costs, and everything else that we got going on. And, and seriously, the rewards that we're giving away on Kickstarter are super high quality and affordable too. The price of our board gamer bags, our metal dice, our leather dice trays. It's like all this deluxe stuff. Yeah, we haven't really talked much about it anywhere, but I'm actually really excited about our mystery box add-ons that are okay. part of it. We're going to be giving away like metal pins and Tantrum House uh, cards from previous years, as well as stickers and decals, all these other random promos. It's going to be this box stuff full of good stuff. There may be even some like t-shirts or big discount coupons, along with other surprises in this box. You can check all those out on the campaign. There's so much great stuff on the page, so please click the link in the description and see if there's anything cool on there that you might be interested in. We'd super appreciate your support. And if you don't find anything that you can actually put to good use, then at least consider sharing our campaign on your social media. Uh, we'd love to hit our funding goal very soon. We'd really really appreciate your help in doing so. Well, I think that wraps up another episode. Let us know in the comments which games you're most interested in and what uh, things should also be on that list of you things hate to that lose. people hate to lose. I think I got 
all six. I should have got all six, but but maybe I didn't. Yeah, and if you decide to support our campaign, we'd love to know what backer rewards you were most excited about and what things you were looking forward to collecting. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Remember, you, you heard, heard it here, here first. Can't catch a break without that remote. This that we put together here at Trent Tantrum. Too bad I couldn't have read his name. <laughs> What'd I miss? Uh, their hair. Oh, yep. A bet. Yep. And their life or a family member's life. <laughs> This is accurate.